over Britain, thousands of workers down tools in answer to the call for a 24-hour strike by the Confederation of Shipbuilding and Engineering Unions. The unions claim that nearly two million are out, the largest number to stop work since the general strike of 1926. The idea of the stoppage is to back the demand for a 15% wage increase, which has already been refused by the employers. Almost every skilled machine operator in the country is on strike, crippling about 4,000 factories and severely damaging our exports drive. Work on the Anglo-Iranian refinery in Kent comes to a halt, and aircraft production is slowed down. The Pool of London, the Clyde and Southampton are among the shipping centres hit by the stoppage. Described as a shot across the bowels of the employers, the strike ends at the intended time. But now the unions aim to ban all overtime and piecework, a policy that could wreck some of our most vital industries unless the bulk of the workers decided to ignore the strike order.